So what is uh, Wagmi Games? So Wagmi Games is basically like uh, like a web, web uh, they are trying to bridge uh, web uh, two to web three. Like it, it's basically like a gaming franchise. They 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 are, they want to create like more games uh, in general. Um, I'm going to talk about in this video about everything pros and cons. What what do I think of the project? Uh, will, is it going to succeed? Does, does it have a lot of potential? How much uh, they have already achieved uh, from what they want to do and and so many things so basically that they what they're trying to do is uh, they are trying to make uh, more games it's called wagmi games however at this point they have only one game so it's not really games it's wagmi game at the moment but they are trying to do uh, um, uh, more things and they are trying to get into like tv series uh, uh, films and, and so many other spheres of crypto as well um, which is which is interesting but at the moment it's uh, like a mobile gaming uh, infrastructure like the studio you can call but you know studios are more like uh, with more games you know so it's not really a studio yet but that's what they are they are building and that's what they um, they are aiming for um, to build obviously uh, before the bull run um let's go to uh, tokenomics and afterwards i will go to the team and, and all the all the stuff that they have uh, uh, done already so um first of all uh, i love the tokenomics there is no better there is no not many project that have this uh, amazing uh, um, uh, tokenomics so 82% uh, is out in circulation, which is, which is great. And the, and the thing is, the, the price lo doesn't look like uh, like like a huge dump. So basically, the project came out uh, like a last like in 2022, which is obviously uh, like a summer 2022, which is like after the the bull run. Uh, and if you think about it, like um, look, the price was going sideways. However, they have released 82% of the coins in circulation, which is crazy, which is insane that they have released. This amount of coins and the coins and the, and the price still pumped. Uh, so basically, it didn't dump basically nothing here. This is going sideways for a long time, you know. Uh, so actually, it's amazing. A lot of coins are out, so there is not much of inflation for the project. Um, the price is looking very bullish. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, tokenomics, you can almost say it's perfect. It's not a new project, right? It have not seen the bull market yet because it was launched after the bull run. However, um, it, it, it looks bullish, price action bullish, uh, market cap is solid uh, for 82% circuiting supply, 28 million is, is, is great. Um, how about exchange listing? So it's, it's listed on uh, Bitmart, Gate.io, uh, BitGet. BitGet is a, is, a, is a great exchange, so it's good to see it there as well, as well as Gate.io. I would personally prefer if they would uh, list it on Maxi as well, because most of the users have access to make C because they don't need don't require a KYC so it's basically accessible for everyone uh, around the world so if they could if they could list it on Mexi that would be like a big uh, huge uh, advantage to the project okay so let's go to their uh, basically website and uh, get into the team and, and all the sort of things so um, this is basically a game um, <clears throat> let me show you a gameplay uh, of the of the of the game and then uh, <clears throat> you can see how how it looks like and uh yeah and i will uh, get into the team and all the rest of the stuff in in a second so So this is uh, shortly how the game looks like. I think it's uh, it's it's interesting. It's quite similar to Lit Labs. Um, it's quite a niche down game, but I think uh, I think it's uh, it has a good graphics, which is which is very important in a crypto game. So 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 yeah, it's, it looks the game looks decent. So uh, my um, pros and cons uh, for, for for the game. I mean, the game doesn't look bad. It looks okay. But for example, uh, I would expect them to, to have more games, right? Because the only game they have so far is this Wagmi Defense. So this is the only game they have, which is not much for the 28 million market cap product. So, you know, I would, I would you know, I would want, you know, for them to have like uh, much more uh, basically games on their platform. They have a marketplace as well. Uh, as well as, as I mentioned, they, they are trying to get into like these... Uh, um, TV sphere of uh, stuff as well. Um, 
they appeared on this the, the next crypto gem uh, tv show as well so that's probably uh yeah a good thing for them as well but uh yeah in general um the, it's only one game out at the moment so it, it's really in early phases uh, of the project uh, if you go uh, to the team so this is uh, this is interesting here so uh, basically, you can you have here uh, on their uh, uh, website in general like a high profile, uh, high profile um, like a, like people that are uh, were very successful in their uh, like a spheres. But um, the thing is, like uh, most of these people are not really from crypto. That you know they are they are they are successful, but in other niches. So how how successful they're gonna be in this niche? It's 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 uh, questionable. I mean, um, basically the CEO is uh, from. Uh, uh, from different range of businesses like restaurants, online agencies, healthcare. This is not really crypto. I mean, with all the respect. Um, uh, chef, gaming officer. Okay, um, he has. He is okay from video games. So he he's he's you know uh, from the same niche. Uh, then we have um, uh, a brand phrase. Um, veteran, thirty years of experience in co-founded uh, different uh, companies here. Um, Electronic Arts, Director of Operations, Electronic Arts, but it's not really like a game that much. Like this guy is from uh, Scott Herman is uh, like apparently like a YouTuber, uh, like a like a like a fitness YouTuber, like a gym uh, YouTuber. Um, so you know, twenty years uh, uh, fitness empire. He built two point seven million subscriber channel on YouTube, but this again, it's it's a fitness, not really crypto. So this guy has uh, crypt, uh, like a gaming experience. Um, Chief Te Technology Officer uh, is an active day trader, crypto investor, and has been in the past four years. Uh, he believes longevity. Blah, blah, blah. Um, he he believes in the, in, in the knowledge, uh, but also uh, uh, character uh, of determination is what uh, leads to success. Um, mm -hmm. Learning how to implement a strategic uh, launch of his own projects through networking and uh, so. Team, I'm not really that obsessed. Uh, Costas uh, has worked um, in. Uh, so it, this guy is again from Fitness Empire, from from a fitness YouTube space. So again, uh, questionable thing. This is the guy basically that is uh, you can you can call like a, like a you know crypto gaming guy. So Esteban is experienced gaming industry veteran with a decade of experience in senior managing Wagmi games brings uh you know expertise you know to the to the project so this guy is okay but and uh, obviously alex becker so this is actually a funny thing here because it says uh, alex becker obviously advisor so basically they pay him to shield the project um he founded neo tokyo with earlier trades you know so basically alex becker talks about this project that's that's good right uh but the, when you when you go to their twitter account <laughs> so uh, um, um what's his name alex becker is advisor for the project and when you go to their twitter account here um, then you see that basically you go to their, you know, 70k followers, okay, and you click on the the followers. So you have here, Magic Crowd, okay, Mix Mob. So Crypto Zaras is is uh, you know the judges from that show that they went to. Superman, obviously another YouTuber, Brian Evans, the another judge uh, next to Leia Halliburton in the, in that show. Uh, Zach uh, Humphreys, this is a YouTuber, and where is alex becker here so basically alex becker is an advisor for the project but is not on the on, on not following the twitter is very 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 strange so um i don't know you know like it's very strange so um they're active on twitter which is good um that that's that's great however um you know okay let's i want to show you guys one more thing so what is strange because when you're looking at cryptos you know so basically this is a twin 28 million market cap project right so 28 million market cap project should be a big you know and it's not really easy to move uh, the price so when you go here uh, it's uh, as i said it's uh, one of the exchanges that it listed on is for, for example bitget you know if you go here to bitget you see that uh, basically there is basically barely any liquidity in the project so 28 it's so almost 30 million market cap project and there is there is basically a belly and liquidity here you can this so you have here two thousand dollars at uh zero zero this one five at one two another two k and then one so basically you know if i would decide to dump like six seven k i can dump the price to ten cents and if i decide to pump i can pump with ten thousand dollars i can pump this to not even ten thousand like i can pump this to like with four five k uh, i can pump the price to x so that's not really like 
Normally, in my opinion, they should provide much more liquidity on buy side and sell side as well, because if I can pump the project with 5, 6K, uh, a $28 million market cap, it's it's nonsense, you know. So it would be worth 56 million, right, market cap, but actually I just uh, invested 5K in it. So th th there is so many things that they should, uh, you know, put into this project, like, uh, you know, more liquidity, and more more games in general. So, yeah, my thoughts uh, in general. So... They should they should uh, obviously bring out more games. Um, so far, what they have done is okay, is decent. I'm not saying it's a bad project. It's okay project, not the best by far, not the best, but it's it's a solid pick. Uh, it's easily pumpable because if these big YouTubers are gonna be shilling this project, it's gonna fly like crazy. Because as I said, with 5k you double the price, so there's basically no liquidity. With 10k you would sure double the price because you know, obviously you have other exchanges. They're listed on other exchanges as well. So with 10,000 dollars you would you would double the price if you do like a market buy. So so that's uh, you know that's crazy. And you know if considering that they have the 82 percent of the coins out in circulation, where are those coins? They're neither on the buy, neither on sell side. Like uh, so so yeah, they need to bring more games first of all. Um, they should list it on Maxi as well, uh, in, my, in my opinion, so to, to, to give uh, more exposure to the projects. And uh, yeah, they need to develop their product, uh, more games, uh, uh, you know, uh, more more projects uh, on, on their platform. And then uh, then um, then you can call it that uh, basically it's a good, successful project. In my opinion, we are close to the bull market. You know, they should they should launch already a lot of projects. I hope in the next coming months they're going to launch more projects because with one game, as a, as a Wagmi Games, as a, stu as a kind of studio, it's not really much. So overall, it's a decent project. Not the best, uh, uh, not the worst. Uh, it's a solid pick. So um, they, it's probably going to pump because big YouTubers are going to be shielded. So if you want to grab some for yourself, but uh, yeah, check it out, do your own research and um, yeah, decide for yourself whether you want to buy it or not. I just did the review on the project and it's on you whether you want to buy it or not. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.